G'day guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another day down at HD Auto. My name's Hayden, and I'm gonna run you guys through a little bit of a tour on this 4JJ3 Isuzu D-Max 2020 model, and a few of the upgrades that are done to her. So enough of looking at me, check this girl out. Thing is sexy as hell, it's got some gangster wheels on it, nice little tray set up, uh, sort of, uh, tent on the roof there, snorkel, airbox, put this on, got a little front mount in there, upgraded from factory. Uh, but that's not what we've done to it. Uh, it's sort of come like that already. What we do and where we've been sort of starts all in the engine bay and underneath the vehicle because we did our uh, PKS 44mm turbo upgrade to this car, okay? So you can see here, it's not a direct bolt-on turbocharger option. It does take a flange, and there is a little bit of a modifying to do in terms of like, um, you know, uh, dump pipe and inlet pipe and some other things, but they do fit. They're a very common turbo that we've used on 4JJ1s in the past years. So to apply those into the 4JJ3s has been a fantastic choice, sort of a no-brainer. Uh, obviously the brand PKS, something we've been selling for a very long time as well, had uh, no issues at all with those. This one is running a heap of boost, which I'll run you through in a minute, but that there's a turbo. Paired into that is a uh, DPF delete. When we do the DPF deletes on these, we obviously get rid of all the sensors, get rid of the VNT controller, all out of the ECU. Again, something I'll run you through in a minute, uh, but that is a Luxfab DPF delete pipe. Um, sexy, sexy bit of gear, I'll try and stick some. Customers already had it up at the beach since we've done the initial work to it, so a little bit of corrosion, but you get that on the big jobs, mate. <laughs> uh, front mount, I'm not too sure of the brand, but it does look great, and I can tell you it works good, so I, I don't know why, but it's like there's an M on the grill, and I guess that could be Mishimoto if they do it. I, honestly, I just don't know, but let's see if I can find a... Um, to say JT, maybe Johnny Tig? I'm not too sure. Regardless, it works sick. Um, but what's next? So we did an MPC clutch upgrade to this one as well with the built flywheel, and that's holding the power we're making just fine, which is the exciting bit about this car. Um, so that's good. We also, uh, lastly, and for us to be honest, a little bit of R&D that took place with this build was the injectors. So, uh, I'll turn this light off, hold on. Excuse me, go twice as bright, there we go. All right, so with these cars, um, these 4JJ3s, they are a new style fuel injector compared to the 4JJ1s. So it meant that anything we already sort of knew about just replacing injectors on these engines sort of had to sort of had to start from scratch again a little bit on it and work out a solution. So luckily we've got some really good hookups um, in this industry, work with some fantastic people who have been able to help us find a set of nozzles out of uh, Thailand, uh, which we have fitted up to this 4JJ3. We've had the injectors, uh, the nozzles fitted and tested here, and they came back about 40% more than standard in flow. So that meant we we're gonna be able to crank heaps of fuel onto this thing and get it absolutely moving. So this car was like a little bit of a tester for that and uh, couldn't say more of a thank you to Bronson who let us carry that all out because mate, she's, um, yeah, she's come out absolutely mint. So, once uh, we finished with all the mechanical work on it, like fitting the injectors, uh, turbo, clutch, exhaust, we were able to move into the tuning. So on this, uh, we did get a little bit of, um, you know, roundabout, uh, you know, couple heads coming together on this one to make, make it all work, being like a new injector. And look, couldn't be more happy with the final results. So I'll run you through those now. All right, so from factory, these cars make about 144 horsepower as you can see there, and 350 odd newton meters, pretty flat. Now look, nothing wrong with that. I've owned one of these cars from brand new myself, and I reckon they drive pretty good, but look, we all want more power, that's what we do. If it weren't for that, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have a job to do. So, she's now making, I sort of gave it away there before, 273 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. As you can see here, sort of carries just above nearly, you know, it is 700 newton meters of torque, which is, Double the factory power, double the factory torque. That's a 30 psi boost. So let's say we were running a fair bit of boost on this thing. And 17.5 to 1 AFR. Now we do have a nice clean 15 to 1 off the bottom, 17 to 1 on boost. This thing makes no soot. It is clean as a whistle. 
Um, we did give it back to him about a week ago, just to give, give it an initial run around, see how it was on the road. We did find down low was a bit sooty, so that's why I've got it back today and got the opportunity to make this little video on it, uh, which we've been able to clean up and get it all sorted. So that's a little bit of a rundown on this thing, performance-wise. I would have to say, I'm not trying to make any claims, but perhaps it's probably one of the bigger power four JJ3s on the east coast of Australia right now. Uh, 273 horsepower at the wheels on 33s. I think they're, um, let's have a look what they got. 285.70.17. Thing's an absolute weapon. It's also got the hard cut Lemmy in, the, uh, Lemmy in there, which I'll uh, jump over and give you guys a little bit of a show now. All right, little Lemmy check on this one. I'm sure you all want to hear it, so. Alright, so. <laughs> Look, I don't know. I'm not a big I'm not a big Lemmy guy, but if you want Lemmy then I mean it's there if you want it. If uh you're wanting to do something like this to your 4 JJ3, hit us up. Uh we're in Rockley, Brisbane. We obviously obviously do standard remapping on these ones as well as all the everything. Uh this to do this sort of work, you are looking at a at a bit on like turbos about four and a half more fitted. Um, like he's already had airbox snorkel. You don't need those to make the power. Injectors are around that four grand fitted. Uh, we can do yours up for you as well though. Ironically enough, even though being a brand new car, this actually had two faulty injectors out of the box, so we end up having to replace two of them. So yeah, it definitely adds up this kind of work, and I think value for money. A lot of people are going to get it most out of just doing a remap. Because for 1400 bucks, you are going to get up to around that 190 to 200 horsepower mark, up from 140 and sort of 350 newt meters. Maybe it'll do about 550 newt meters with a remap. So, whether you're thinking about modifying your 4GJ3, DMAX, or BT50, hit us up. We'll get you all sorted. Cheers, guys.